Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for coming on this video. Today is what's D cooking? She decided, she decided to use up lentils and she's going to make, it started out as a soup, but I think it came out to more like a chili. So you can call it a soup. You can call it a chili. You want it thinner. You want it thicker. You decide. Everything will be on dishwithd.com. It'll help you out because it's kind of scattered here. And I also cooked up a turkey breast because I was here. I was filming that, so I got this. I want to get that done. So you will see me cooking up a turkey breast for lunch as well. So without further ado, let's get to that hot mess food footage. All right, we're going to make a sausage and lentil soup. This is inspired by a soup I had at a restaurant Tuesday when I went for my women's club. My wrap came with soup, and it was choice of chicken noodle or lentil. And I went, hmm, lentil. So... I just thought it'd be really good. I'm just, I'm winging this because I really don't know. So I'm going to be using crushed tomatoes and diced tomatoes, water, and if I want some extra, I'm going to use this vegetable bouillon. I'm going to give it a little extra flavor, but I don't know. I think that might be enough. And I do have a tube of tomato paste if I want to give it a more oomph taste. And I happen to have lentils in the pantry. These are red lentils. I don't know if they're the correct ones to use. Probably the brown or green ones would have been the one, but this is what I have, so this is what I'm using. Now for the Amish market, I did grab some fresh turkey. Um, they're grillers, they're turkey grillers. So just, their stuff is pretty lean there, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. I usually count it for three points a length when I eat it. I have an onion, some mini bell peppers, We'll see if we're not anything else. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to slice these. I can take them out of the casings and make it loose. I think that's what I might do. This way I was going to slice it and I thought it might be better to have those little flecks of sausage and some little flecks of lentil might work. So that's, that's I think, now that I think about it. See, I'm winging this. This is a winging situation. So let's see if we can get... How hard is to get the casings out of the kitchen? And there are how many links here? There's four. Yeah, there's four. So yeah, I'm just gonna squeeze this out. Just like that. <laughs> Don't go there. And we're gonna put in my uh, saute pot and get the saute. There it is out of the casings. I'm just gonna give it a saute, get this all cooked. If there's a lot of fat, I will drain it. I didn't put anything at the bottom because I feel like it's gonna gonna leave some grease or fat. So we'll see. Um, I will show you what it looks like when we're all browned up. Going to dice up half an onion, a few mini bell peppers, probably those five, the last remaining stalk of celery, and a few baby carrots. We'll get them in a bowl as our sausage continues to brown. I'm just gonna keep breaking it up. And then we will come back and look at that. I'm going to get to chopping. Okay, while we're waiting for our sausage to finish browning, I'm going to throw this in my little new toaster oven. It is a turkey tenderloin. No, it's a turkey breast. I got this at my Amish market. It's a fresh turkey breast. They're a little bit pricey there, but they're very, very beautiful. So you'll see the size of this. And we're just going to season it up with some of this, which is the sunshine all-purpose seasoning, garlic, ginger, pineapple, and mango. It's salt free. You can season however you like. But this is what I'm using because that's what I happen to grab first and look good. So I have my little foil lined tray. I'm going to put my turkey in this. Will be great to have on hand for the week for lunches, for snacks. It's turkey dog. It is a big one. What's the size? It is um almost three pounds that's a big breast i normally don't get it that big but it's all i had and i was like okay so i'm gonna just I'm gonna push it out Look how thick it is i probably could butterfly this oh wait a minute glad i looked underneath we got a little we got a little friend here let's pull this off a little tenderloin here let's do it like this I'll put it like that. That's much better. It'll cook much better without this there. I'm just going to, I didn't spray this, did I? I was going to spray it. I don't think it should, I don't think it should stick. I'm going to wash my hands real fast and then I'm going to season. I'll show you. 
I'm going to spray with a little bit of olive oil spray. Spray the pan a little bit under, underneath there. My oven is preheated to 400, and I'm just going to sprinkle. And I will sprinkle the other side when we turn it. And just spray it liberally. Little, again, you can sprinkle with whatever you like. It's going to be a nice little, if you're on Weight Watchers, a zero point snack or lunch to dip, make sandwiches, whatever you like. So we're going to cook it for probably this size, about 25 minutes, and then I'm going to flip it over. There is our meat all browned up. I'm going to add our chopped vegetables and let that saute so a little bit of color. Let's chop a few cloves of garlic. And you can see there isn't much fat at the bottom. I didn't add any oil, so I didn't think you had to. I'm going to throw our garlic in, let that get fragrant, then we're going to our lentils and our tomatoes. All right, our can of crushed tomatoes. Now we'll rinse this out with some water. And our can of diced fire roasted, not drained. We'll rinse that out too. Give it a nice little mix. And if you, like I said, if you want to make this vegetarian, you can leave out the sausage and just do, veg add more vegetables and lentils. Okay, and I don't know how many lentils to put in. Again, why? Because Denise is winging it, which is typical to me. Pop this bag over, so I'm just going all right, I have my water. I have about, this is 32 ounces, this is probably about a cup of the rinsed water from both cans. And I did rinse, rinsed, I did rinse, rinse off the one cup of lentils. We may add more, I just need to look at this. Because I don't know, I feel like I want it to be very lentil-y, so I might add both cups. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna add the rest, which is another cup in here. I'm gonna rinse these off and we're gonna add both cups because we're gonna live on the edge. Alrighty, that last cup of lentils. So it was two cups. Again, you can use any, I guess you can use any color lentils. I, I use what I had. Eh, that's what we do. And we'll do another cup of water. Just to make sure, like I said, I will definitely come back and see if I need to add more liquid because I've never really made this before, so we don't know. This is Zhuzh. And I'm gonna stick some of this bouillon. This is a vegetable-based bouillon. You can use chicken bouillon, whatevs. So I'm going to add a tablespoon. So like I said, I'm not adding any salt because there's salt in there. So I'm not really too terribly worried about salt. But I give that a Zhuzh. Some black pepper. Alright. One more secret ingredient. Red pepper flakes. About half a tablespoon. Grab something else. Some oregano. Whole tablespoon. All right, we're gonna let this simmer. I'm gonna check it in about an hour, and then we will see if we need to add anything else. All right, while our soup simmers, our turkey just went off. So we're going to flip her over. The 
the size of that. I mean, now you could also, if you wanted to take the temperature and see where you stand, it's always a good idea. I love these digital thermometers. They work so easily. Yeah, she's not even 100. I didn't think so. I have one of these linked in my Amazon store. They are absolutely priceless. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I got a little, little olive oil and some more of this sprinkle. Again, you can sprinkle with whatever you want. Salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, poultry seasoning, you know, whatever. I just get in the mood for certain things. Last time I think I did the Thai, Thai barbecue one from Tinder's. So I'm going to put this back in for another 25 minutes and then we will take the temp again. All right, she's very thick. I'm going to add another couple cups of water. Actually, I think this is a, no. This is one cup. I'm going to add one at a time. I think I might add another one. Yeah, I'm going to put another one in, make it two cups. There, that's better, a lot looser. So, like I said, probably because I had a lot of lentils. Like I said, I have no experience with lentils. So I'm going to let this cook a little bit more. If it tries, if it starts to suck it up, which it probably might, I may add a little bit more water. So I will have all the totals on dishwithd.com. I will do all the hard work of figuring it out. All right, she simmered over an hour. I did add another cup of water and some more of the bouillon, but she is done. The lentils are tender. I'm just going to start at the steam. Just add a big old handful of fresh parsley, and that's all she wrote. I'll bowl it up, and we will have a taste. Forgot to show you. She cooked 25 minutes, flipped her 25 more minutes, flipped her at another 10, based on the thickness. Each turkey breast is different, but I'm going to put her in a little container. There's the other half of the other one, and we're going to put her in the fridge, and she'll be ready for lunches for during the week. Well, that is it. I forgot to show you, forgot to film me tasting it, but you do, you'll do see my bowl that what I had for lunch. It was really good. We really liked it, but like I said, it did come out to more like a chili rather than a soup. You could absolutely add more liquid, and it'll be much more thinner, or you could ask, add less. You could not add as many lentils as I did. I just wanted to get rid of the pack because I had it a while and I wanted to use it up. So I just like, what the heck? I've never cooked with lentils before, so I'm very inexperienced, but it was tasty. You could absolutely use stock instead of water if you wanted it to have a different kind of flavor. You could leave out the sauces if you want to make it more vegan. It's up to you. It's definitely something you could adapt how you like to eat. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, points and calories, I think. Um, it's very low in calorie because the sausage was only three points each and the whole rest of the soup was zero. I believe lentils are zero. So it would be like a point a bowl, which is a steal. Um, calories will be listed on dishwithd.com. I do have that figured out. I just didn't. Yeah, we'll get to that. It'll be on dishwithd.com, the calories and stuff. But I know, I know all I had to count was the turkey sausage, so... That is it. So I will dish with you another day. If you enjoyed this hot mess video, let me know with a big old thumbs up. And I'm trying to do these a little bit more frequently, but this was a little bit of a dis discombobulated video. and I do apologize for that, but it was delicious and that's all that counts. So I will dish with you another day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, even though it's a hot mess. I'm a real hot mess. So hope you enjoy that.